Hi hello my dear friends welcome back to this channel in this video we will focus on bitter rate of a AWGN channel okay so this basic concept is required in order to uh, figure out uh, the bitter rate uh, of a wireless channel so in the first video we have spoken about uh, multipath uh, um, multipath propagation in the second video we have spoken about uh, uh, the multipath fading uh, concept and in the third video we have spoken about how this wireless fading channel has been modeled as a relay right so basically uh, the fading phenomena which we have spoken uh, about uh, in uh, in the previous videos this will happen whenever there is a destructive interference right so because of destructive interference you see that uh, the snr of the uh, signal uh, goes low so this is one of the key parameters which we need to look so whenever snr goes low you see that uh, the uh, the signal is uh, signal can't be recovered maybe can't be recovered uh, completely so what is the another key parameter which we need to analyze in the uh, communication systems that is uh, um, when signal can't be recovered which means there are many bit error bit errors right so that uh, is given by either bit error rate or uh, probability of error so first we will focus on uh, this probability of error for awgn channel once uh, we understand the concept then we'll move to the wireless channel now consider uh, uh, the equation so y is equal to um, hx plus n right so here h is equal to 1 because of uh, awgn channel and the another assumption is uh, uh, n is modeled as a, a gaussian with a mean uh, a 0 and variance of sigma square so finally we will get y is equal to x plus n so x is uh, your transmitted uh, um, signal or transmitted uh, bit you can say so y is uh, your received signal so n is uh, noise right now uh, uh, for simplicity let us consider uh, uh, the bpsk system so we have uh, minus one we have plus one all right so in bpsk system we will consider that uh, uh, whenever we transmit uh, plus one we transmit uh, with the certain power t okay uh, so power is equal to p so which means uh, that if we are uh, uh, representing uh, in the constellation then it is the amplitude so it will be square root of p this will be minus square root of p okay so now uh, we need to consider uh, um, the probability of error right probability of error we need uh, the pdf pdf of uh, y but uh, what does uh, pdf of uh, y look like so let's say uh, uh, when um, x we transmitted as uh, square root of p uh, which is uh, this particular constellation point then y would become square root of p plus uh, n right so now n is a gaussian so your y is also gaussian so how would you write the equation of uh, y or um, in fact uh, if you consider any uh, uh, like even the noise uh, how will you write uh, uh, the pdf of noise let's say i will write it like this so then it will become 1 by square root of 2 pi uh, sigma square e to the power of minus n square by 2 sigma square okay now so if we will draw the diagram so this is where we transmitted plus p and uh, and the received signal will have uh, uh, you know pdf something like this right so i have not written it correctly okay let me try to write it correctly so so 
so similarly uh, if we have minus p we will have one more uh, uh, picture one more uh, gaussian pdf uh, present at this point so probability of error when does it occur let's say you transmitted uh, minus p okay you transmitted this particular point but now at the reception rx you received uh, um, you received the sample somewhere uh, at this point or this point or anything which is actually uh, present uh, in the present in this region correct so what do we say for that so whenever you were uh, received uh, y is greater than 0 that is when you get uh, uh, error so what is y so y is equal to x plus n in this case y is equal to uh, minus p plus n because that is what you have transmitted okay so this uh, becomes a minus p plus n if it uh, falls uh, uh, in the um, uh, in the uh, positive quadrant then uh, uh, you are going to have the error so which means uh, n is uh, greater than square root of p so now we can uh, so now we can actually uh, go for uh, the distribution so probability of error becomes what so it is a gaussian right so now it is minus p2 uh, infinity 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square to the power of minus x square So let us uh, use a change of variable. So put n by sigma is equal to t. Why are we doing this? Because we need to bring it to some standard form so that uh, uh, we can write it in uh, um, write it in terms of a q function uh, and which will be easy for our further uh, understanding or processing. So if you write dn is equal to sigma dt, so whenever uh, n is equal to infinity, t also goes to infinity, and whenever um, n becomes square root of p, uh, t would become square root of p y sigma. So we need to substitute back these things. So probability of uh, uh, error is equal to so now t is the variable here we, it was n now we are moving to t t is the variable which is square root of p by sigma so goes to infinity um, so if you substitute uh, this would become like 1 by uh, square root of 2 pi then e to the power of minus t square by 2 so this which is dt If you carefully observe this, this represents uh, uh, the equation of a q function. Okay, so the q function is if you take uh, the Gaussian uh, distribution, um, so this represents uh, the tile of a Gaussian. So this 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 can be written as uh, this can be written in terms of a q function, which is uh, q of Mm, square root of p by sigma square okay this is actually sigma square here yes now if you carefully observe uh, what is our final equation our probability of error is equal to q of square root of um, p by sigma square all right So we had y is equal to uh, x plus n. So what is the SNR? SNR is signal power divided by noise power, right? What is the signal power here? Which is uh, a modulus of uh, x square divided by modulus of n square, uh, which, which is actually uh, p by sigma square. So we can write this as q of uh, SNR. Also, we can write it in uh, one more one more way. Uh, um, so, 
we had this constellation right so constellation minus square root of p and we had square root of p so what is the distance between these two so this is equal to 2 into square root of p so probability of error is equal to we can write it as 2 by d by 2 sigma so this d is nothing but the distance between two symbols all right so what does it say okay so now we have derived uh, the br of a awgn channel and the relation we have in terms of even distance between the symbol uh, also we have a relation between snr and the probability of error so let's say uh, in the practical system um, you want to achieve uh, the probability of error uh, which is less than 10 to the power of minus 6 so your uh, uh, bit error rate should be less than 10 to the power of minus 6 then um, if we are supposed to achieve this then uh, what is the SNR required in a AWGN channel that is a question mark so how, how can we write this so we have uh, the probability of error right probability of error is equal to q function of um, SNR so uh, I am seeing one point okay the square root is missed over here so it should be square root of SNR so what is the SNR value so this is like 10 to the power of uh, minus 6 uh, uh, is equal to uh, um, q function of square root of SNR so you need to use so, some kind of tables q function tables so if you use the those tables which is available in uh, textbooks or uh, over the internet then uh, you would see that uh, uh, you, you would get uh, after solving this you would get snr in terms of db which is equal to 13.53 db all right this is the SNR required in case of AWGN channel if you want to achieve uh, uh, the bit error rate less than 10 to the power of minus 6. So from this uh, there is one more uh, crux um, that is your probability of error uh, will be approximated to e to the power of minus SNR. We can approximate uh, uh, to this equation as well. Right? So this also says that uh, uh, you know there is a possibility of signal going to zero all right um, we have seen uh, the uh, bitter rate of awgn channel this is also one of the important questions uh, during uh, uh, interviews uh, so if you are going for a uh, going for a roles which are uh, uh, pretty much uh, um, related to algorithm development uh, then uh, then this this question would be asked this is also very uh, basic uh, in order to derive uh, the bitter rate of a much more complex uh, uh, much more complex population schemes like uh, uh, 16 qualm or 64 qualm so but in this video i have taken only uh, a very basic one which is uh, actually bpsk but uh, on a similar basis uh, uh, we can also derive the bitter rate of uh, uh, 64 qualm or 16 qualm even uh, such questions like uh, questions uh, are also asked uh, uh, for system engineering roles in 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 tier one companies all right thank you for watching have a great day bye bye take care